All right, the next guitar I'm going to show you today is not a no-name classical guitar. <laughs> this actually has a label in, let me show you. And if you can see here, it says Gustavo, Gustavo Arias. Gustavo Arias, okay? And if you're wondering who in the world is Gustavo Arias, while well, I did some research, and he is a guitar maker from uh, Paraguay. Now, if you know anything about classic guitar, Paraguay is most famous for, um, you know, that uh, guitar composer, guitarist, Agustin Barrios, right? Um, and actually, Paraguay has a pretty, pretty uh, healthy guitar, uh, um, you know, nation, I guess you say. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of guitars there. Um, and actually, this uh, guitar maker is really decent. So it, it turns out that Gustavo Arias, um, it's not just one guy making guitar, like a luthier, but it's more like he has a handful of people um, that are luthiers. So he himself makes guitars, but he also has other people. And the way it works is that when one person, they want to start a guitar, only that one person works on the guitar. So it's kind of like his company but with like five luthiers. Um, so that's a pretty interesting idea. Somewhere between, you know, individual luthier and uh, a company, I guess you'd say. But uh, they use pretty high quality woods. So let's let's look at the specs here, you know. Um, let's start from the top. So the, the tuning heads, um, these are just uh, shallower tuning heads. They're not too expensive. Um, these are uh, ebony uh, buttons, and uh, they you know they tune rather well. Uh, we have a rosewood uh, veneer on the top. If you look at the back. As another uh, cedar cedar top, and again it's quarter sawn. It's hard to tell, but it is quarter sawn. And then with the skunk stripe in the back to uh, of ebony to kind of add for more uh, stability. It's kind of a, t a traditional thing to do. And if you check out this uh, ebony, uh, this is because it's ebony fingerboard. This is really thick, thick ebony fingerboard. Nice. Okay. If you look here, you got a solid. We have a solid cedar top, very tight grain. Um, you can tell it was probably you know trees probably grown in a colder climate. And we have uh, Indian rosewood sides and back. So this finish is kind of a. It's lacquer, but it's kind of a very light lacquer finish, not very deep. So it kind of makes it help resonate more. And what's interesting is uh, it has a sound port. Now if you're wondering, well, what's the whole, whole point of sound port? Well, it's, you know, it's obvious to like help the guitars hear the sound better. But actually overall, performance-wise, when you're performing, it, you really do get us... Um, a little bit more uh, uh, volume actually uh, for the guitar, and it kind of the guitar feels like it has like a 360 kind of feel. So I must say, I recommend uh, having a sound port. Actually, the sound port makes this guitar sound more much more alive. And of course, uh, right here the nut, that's bone nut, and we have a bone. All right, bone saddle. So, uh, yeah, again, I got this guitar, again, I believe it or not, a guitar center, uh, for uh, 1400 bucks. I uh, used, and uh, list price right now is going well over $2,000. Uh, I think I kind of pay more on the higher end, but um, it's in pretty good condition, and I like this guitar. So, let's check out some sound samples. Alright, so here's a sound sample of Gustavo Arias. 
guitar. So what's great about this guitar is that it plays soft or loud, it still has nice clarity. Um, and also the... The action is uh, not too low, not too high. And it feels pretty nice. So... If you look at the action, compared to the other guitar, this action is a lot lower, so this setup is definitely, you know, nicely done. And yeah, you know, um, I actually use this to perform with uh, my senior recital back at CSUN. And um, yeah, I would use this for performance. But uh, definitely this guitar somewhat feels kind of fragile as a lot of more expensive classical guitars tend to. Um, so this thing needs to be taken care of a lot, like humidity and whatnot. Uh, but, uh, nice guitar. <laughs>